Sorry, last time I saw you was in Toronto with Liv Ullman. Oh, what a gem of a human being. Don't you just adore Liv Ullman? I do. Oh, so sensitive. She's like a flower. She is. Yeah. And you're so lovely too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and now, yeah, but and you're I'm, such a good team. I'm not in this one. <laughs> that's true. But when you were sitting together, the two of you, I was oh. like, oh, such a good energy. Yeah. yeah so this movie is also, has a really sweet love story to it. I yeah. was just talking to Tom about how back in the days, when you fell in love, you just looked at someone and then you're in love. Do you think that can still happen? Has it changed for you? I think it. I think. Um, I yes. I think it can still happen. Um, but I think back in the days, you married a lot quicker than you do now, and you married a lot younger than you do now. So, perhaps because of that, the wooing process was um, like that. It's like I, I see them. Okay, we're gonna waltz a couple times, yeah. and then we're gonna get engaged. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's gasping when you're I, in taking someone's hand. I know. Hand. I know. It's very. It's very um, prim. But and nowadays, we, we really take our time to get to know people and, and we spend more time, um, I think, developing ourselves before we actually jump into a partnership, which I think that is probably the more responsible thing to do. Do you think romance ha has died a little bit? I don't think romance has died um, because I like, what I, what I like about romance now is we're in a society where women are more equal than they were when Crimson Peak was made, and a uh, woman really needed to listen to her what her father said, listen to her what her husband said. But nowadays, I think it can be very romantic because you have two individuals that are both bringing really incredible things to a relationship. And I like, you know, a woman can be romantic and a man could be romantic. So I, I think because now ro romance is, it's doubled, because now both parties are involved, I think it has to be a more romantic society. That's a great answer. Anyway, in this movie you're playing someone that is not so sweet and nice. Do you mm -hmm. like going into those more like morally questionable kind of mm -hmm. characters? I like challenging myself for sure. And that was something when I read the script I said, Lucille's a big, big challenge. And um, I knew it was going to be hard for me to do because I'm not like that. I like to laugh and smile and be around my friends, uh, but I found that she had this huge sense of loneliness that I just wanted to explore. So yeah, I, this is the first time I've ever played a character like this. And being mean to Mia, who's so oh, sweet. She's so sweet. <laughs> I, know. I know, there was like, there was one day actually that it was before a very intense scene between Mia and I where I had to physically hurt her. Um, and we're kind of standing there, we're not really looking at each other right before action, because, you know, we're... And then they, like, were changing the, the, the folk or the lens or something, and so there was, like, a two-minute break, and I kind of just went to the corner, and I had a little cry. <laughs> like, kind of, it's like, okay, I'm tough, I'm tough, and then I went back. But, yeah, it's, um, it was a, a tough thing to film. Thank you. It was <laughs> Thank so good you. to see you again. It's really good to see you.